Sway that tilt, sway that tilt, sway that tilt. <laughs> so, you want to get active, but you're probably not too sure how to begin with. So today we're going to give you a few little hints and tips on how to progress activity into your life. Okay, stage one, you want to analyse what you're already doing. Because chances are you might be quite active anyway, so have a look at your daily lifestyle. Are you cleaning regularly? Not just yourself, the house, whatever. The garden, do you walk to work? That kind of thing, do you um, play around with your children? Have a look at what you're already doing so we can get a base level, because some people feel that they, they do nothing. But you might find that you do, well, a little more than nothing. Absolutely. And, do you know, if you're not doing these things, then start, you lazy <laughs> bugger. <laughs> <laughs> Everything starts with the basics. Do more housework, get into the garden, take a walk, take your kids to the park. You know, there's loads that we can do in your day-to-day -day life that gets you active straight away without having to think about going to the gym or going for a specific run um, and, and the type of things that you normally associate with exercise. So the next stage after that is, we try and encourage you to maybe pick a class, try something new. And this is what it's all about. This is what it comes down to. It's finding something um, in your life that you know you can do and that you're going to enjoy. So try to do classes, try to go to the gym and you know, lift some weights or go for a run, go for a swim. Try new sports, get a badminton partner and go play some badminton. Just experiment, see what you enjoy and if you enjoy it then you're more likely to do it. Yeah, the other way you could do that around is you could um, find out what your friends are doing. Give it a go, it might not be for you. Absolutely not. They might go to Zumba. Well, we should go to Zumba with our kilts on. Yep. We should. We yeah, should go we to Zumba. Zumba. Have, yeah. you, have you ever done Zumba? No, I haven't, but that would get us more active. I certainly would. The way the human mind works, do you, we like to do things that we're comfortable with. Yes. And it's often out of the comfort zone that we create the biggest changes. Mm -hmm. And really, I think we should probably take a leaf at our own yeah. book here. Do so you know what? We're going to go and do some Zumba. Are we? Well, we're maybe going to do... No, we're going to do some Zumba. We are going to we're do doing some Zumba. Right. <laughs> we, we will go do some Zumba in our kilts. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll maybe have to leave the spawns at home. The important thing as well is that whatever level you start at, don't feel that you have to go out there and do lots and lots of exercise. We did this a lot in the month of January. Everyone goes out and it's all... It's like the training for a Rocky movie, isn't it? Jumping weights, yeah, going yeah, for a run, yeah. going to every single class they can come across. And if it's not sustainable, you'll give it up after three weeks and then you'll say, oh, I'm done with this exercise nonsense. Yeah, and that all comes down again. I, I like to, to think about the subconscious and, and uh, the way your comfort zone works. But when you try and change too much too soon, your subconscious will pull you right back into your comfort zone. Every time I'm out, they pull me back in. <laughs> <laughs> Experiment. Try different things, see what you like. Yep. And come to our Zumba class. <laughs> oh, we'll we'll let you know where and when. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> maybe not, maybe no, not. Let's do the first one in secret. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. we'll find a little class somewhere. Let's secret, go to a Zumba we'll class. Search Google for secret Zumba class. Se the secret Zumba. We'll be at the secret Zumba class next Tuesday afternoon. <laughs>